Hey guys, this is Bobby, and here's part five, part six. Now, something else has been really bugging me lately. I've been getting viciously attacked by mosquitoes. I mean, somehow they're getting to my feet even when I'm wearing socks. Which I might, that's where I found, I found a few, a, a couple, like, two on one on my foot on my birthday. And, you know, they've been attacking my legs, and I've been applying, but I've been like, applying things like Cordaid, Hydrocozone, uh, Neosporin, and I've been taking Benadryl uh, to help with it almost every night. The, all that stuff was recommended to me by the pharmacist um, at, the, at, at, the, at, at the Harris Theater where I work. But they've just been, I've never been eaten alive this bad. Even when I grew up, even in the lake area I grew up in, I've never been eaten, eat, I've been attacked this bad. I mean, I mean, I have found, I mean, I found a mosquito bite like right here on my face. That has never happened before. I even found one here on my earlobe, which is not good. I mean, it truly does suck. There's no other way to say it. No other, other way to describe it. I guess, I mean, I would put up a mosquito net, but those of you know that when Kitty is staying here with me, she likes to claw stuff, and not a, so I can't really have her have a mosquito net up. I'm gonna probably spray some bug spray around my room tomorrow night before I go to bed because I hope that I don't wake up with new with new bug bites when I the next morning since I have to wake up early. Anyway, um. This past Sunday, I got to see an another awesome movie. The final, this is a, the final movie review. I saw Captain America. I saw it with my dad at the same movie theater where I saw X Men: First Class. Now, the only problem I had was the AC in the whole theater was busted. My dad and I were boiling, and I was wearing, I was wearing this shirt, which I got at Fye at the same mall at the mall where I'd seen most uh, uh, the other Avenger movies. And this was why I, I, I chose to wear it. It had Captain it has Captain America on it. But but yeah, it was just it was over it was 90 degrees. My dad and I sat close to the to the, to the screen, of course. Like you know, we were in the in the last row before the little walkway between um, before um, the you know, the rest of the seats. Anyway, and so we had like wet paper towels on our necks and our heads, and we had a huge bucket of popcorn. Anyway, the movie's about Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. It's based on the Marvel comic about Steve Rogers, who is a really short, scrawny guy who wants to join the military and fight Nazis because he doesn't like bullies. Now, after failing four times at four different places, he finally has a chance. I mean, he's played by Chris Evans, who played the Human Torch in the Fantastic Four movies. Anyhow, and he's given a chance by a, sci by a German sh scientist who's played by Stanley Tucci. And Steve, and his superior officer is played by Tommy Lee Jones, and the Red Skull, the villain of the movie, I mean, is played by Hugo Weaving. Is played by Hugo Weaving, who's known for saying Mr. Anderson in the Matrix movies. He was Agent Smith, and he was the voice of Megatron in all three live-action Transformer movies. Anyway, the, um, the movie ha um, also. In the movie was were, was Bucky Barnes, who in this who in the cart in the comics was Captain America's sidekick, and it was Captain America's young sidekick. But in the movie, he was Steve's best friend, and of course there are a ton of there are references to two of it, um, other movies in this. Iron Man, in that his dad, uh, uh, Tony's dad, uh, Nathan Stark, is in it, and he's important to Steve's transformation into Captain America. And four, namely references to to the, to the Norse to the Norse gods, and some and a couple other things. I won't say what. And of course, Samuel Jackson appears as Nick Fury. And you have to also stay after. Man, you need to stay after for the credits, because not only is there a continuation uh, about a continuation, but there's a trailer for the Avengers movie. Anyway, sorry, my nose is really stuffed up. Anyway. The, um, Steve, when Steve becomes Captain America, he's and he stops a Nazi who killed the, who kills the scientist. Which, as anybody who's read the comics know, who knows about, about Captain America knows that that's that the scientist who behind the super soldier serum uh, formula got killed after Steve gained his powers. Well, Steve track uh, chased the guy down, stopped him. Unfortunately, and, and then 
you know, he, he becomes Captain America, but he doesn't do his first act of true heroism until he saves his best, until he saves a whole bunch of soldiers and gains some of the Red Skull's weaponry. And, and the movie was just amazing. The visual effects, the character development, everything. Man, the last, I should mention, the last song was It's My Life by Bon Jovi, and right now it's Two Worlds Collide by Demi Lovato. Anyway, Hugo Weaving and Chris Evans did a great job playing playing the yin and yang of the silver of the of the world of World War Two. And I mean, this movie was amazing. I'm definitely gonna get it on my DVD collection. My dad liked it. He was skeptical about it at first, but he really enjoyed it. And he's and I mean, man, I can't wait to get this on DVD. Like I said, this movie was epic. It makes me want to get a Captain America T-shirt. You know what, this ends part 6, because i got some more things to do, sorry, and this is probably the longest part of the blog. Really sorry that these blogs aren't taking so long, guys.